Greetings friends around the world. This is Bible News Prophecy program. My name is Alexander Sasha Velic, the announcer, and welcome. As expected, Donald Trump has announced his intents to run for the presidency for the United States of America, but no, contrary to what many might believe, he is not going to make America great again. On November 16, 2022, Trump made the announcement with political aides and supporters at his side at his Oceanside Mar-a-Lago retreat in the southern state of Florida, his wintertime home since he left Washington as his White House tenure ended in January of last year. Trump is facing political headwinds, however, as he looks to rejoin the seemingly non-stop U.S. political fray beyond his constant political commentary and disparagement of Biden's administration over the last 22 months. Trump told his supporters Tuesday that when he left office, the country was ready for its golden age. But now we are a nation in decline, Trump said. We are a falling nation. For millions of Americans, the past two years under Joe Biden had been a time of pain, hardship, anxiety and despair. He has blamed Biden for the country's high inflation rate, an unending stream of undocumented migrants crossing the southwestern U.S. border with Mexico and said that Russian President Vladimir Putin would not have invaded Ukraine last February if he were still the U.S. leader. Shortly after Trump's announcement, Biden tweeted a video with clips from Trump's presidency saying his predecessor made economic policy that favored the rich, coddled extremists and attacked the rights of women. Uh, Donald Trump failed America, Biden said, as he, as he uh, tweeted his video clip. Well, what we need to know, friends, is that both Donald Trump and Joe Biden have failed America. We can consider that both Donald Trump and Joe Biden are evil. Without going into unique specifics about either, let's consider how they're both very similar. First, neither lives like a member of their professed faiths is supposed to try to live. Both support LGBT, LGBTQ rights. Both have repeatedly supported increasing U.S. debt. Both have publicly made numerous gaffes and misstatements. Both are white septuagenarians who have been accused of openly praising white supremacists. Both have called for unchecked empowerment of law enforcement entities. Both have been accused of sexually harassing numerous women. Neither has called for national repentance. Neither has sought first the kingdom of God. Both have been leaders in administrations that have upset the Europeans. And both have been accused of hypocrisy. So these are 11 points in which they are very similar, as you can see. Now, I'm not trying to say that there are no differences. Yes, I know they have been, they have differing economic and climate policies as well as different views on abortion, immigration and racial matters. As far as being hypocritical goes, the book of Job teaches in Job chapter 8 verse 13, and the hope of the hypocrites shall perish. The Bible prophecy warns that God will punish and destroy a hypocritical nation in Isaiah chapter 10 verse 6. It's a prophecy related to the United States of America indeed. The Bible also teaches in Isaiah 51 verse 1, Cry aloud, spare not, lift up your voice like a trumpet, let my people, their transgression, and the house of Jacob their sins. Now these national sins include abortion, sexual immorality, promoting pornography, false witness, violence, economic theft through debt, and other means, hypocrisy, disdain for the God of the Bible, covetousness, and a host of others. Well, in our book, The Ten Commandments, The Decalogue, Christianity and the Beast, you can see our free online booklet, we do explain indeed what are the Ten Commandments and how they are being broken. And here is some statement from Donald Trump's announcements from November 15, 2022. Here is the quote from Donald Trump. In order to make America great and glorious again, I am tonight announcing my candidacy for President of the United States. Trump said to loud cheers by supporters at his Mar-a-Lago residence in Palm Beach. Inflation is the highest in over 50 years. Gas prices have reached the highest level in history and expect them to go higher. Now we have a president who falls asleep at global conferences. We are here tonight to declare it does not have to be this way. Soon we will be a great nation again. I believe that the American people will reject the left platform of national ruin 
and will embrace our platform of national greatness and glory. End of the quote. But friends, no, Donald Trump without national repentance, which is not expected and not something you or Joe Biden has ever called for. No, the USA is doomed. The USA is doomed. America, while having ups and downs, uh, in, in spite of all of that, Donald Trump will not be able to make it great. None of us can make it great without the national repentance. Some have speculated that another Donald Trump presidency will mean the end. No, Donald Trump will not stop the decline of the United States of America. But yes, Joseph Biden and those who promote abortion, the LGBTQ plus agenda, etc., are evil. The Bible warns that woe to those who call evil good and good evil. This is from Isaiah chapter 5 verse 20. And the lesser of two evils is still not good. Now, I'm not a voter nor a Democrat nor a make America great again or any other type of Republican. No, I'm a, a non-partisan Christian looking for the return of Jesus Christ and the establishment of the kingdom of God. Please consider having that in mind that Jesus warned in Matthew 12 verse 25 that every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation and every city or house divided against itself will not stand. Also keep in mind the Gospel of Luke chapter 11 verse 17 Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and a house divided against a house falls. The divide in the United States of America is growing as many of its sins, including hypocrisy, become more blatant. And, of course, the election theft is another of those sins that is certainly going to become more blatant as time goes on. Donald Trump is divisive. Joe Biden is divisive as well, even though Joe Biden campaigned to reduce the division. Uh, in many, in many ways, he has increased the division in the American society. Democrats are divided about Joe Biden seeking re-election, and the Republicans are divided about Donald Trump's <laughs> candidacy. Related, uh, uh, to Donald Trump and Joe Biden, and the then upcoming 2020 election, which have just, which are just behind us, uh, the Continued Church of God put together the, the video on our Bible News Prophecy YouTube channel, and the video was called Biden, Trump, and the Bible. Bible, Biden, Trump, and the Bible. And in, in that video, as usual, we have predicted various things. Well, the USA presidential campaign was then in full swing, though Democratic Party candidate Joe Biden and Republican Party candidate Donald Trump have different economic and climate policies as well as different views on abortion and racial matters. There are many similarities both share, and we have just enumerated 11 of those at the beginning of this program. And uh, the problem is that do they have policies that they share that are leading to the destruction of the United States? Oh, yes, indeed, because we know what the Bible spe says and reveals about sexual immorality, debt, and hypocrisy. There are some also of the national sins of the United States of America that are driving it down. And uh, does the Bible endorse voting? What did Jesus teach related to what to seek and pray for? What does the New Testament teach the Christians are to do related to the leaders? Is the lesser of two evils still evil? And in that very video, Biden, Trump and the Bible, Dr. Bob Thiel goes over those matters, including going over 11 similarities that I just enumerated at the beginning of this program, that these two major party candidates share, and some of what the Bible teaches about evil. So, dear friends, supporting evil is not the solution for Christians. Those who are truly part of the Philadelphia remnant of God's church in this day, they'll go forward to fulfill Jesus' commission in Matthew 24, 14 and Matthew 28, verse 19 and 20. They will also support the preparation for the short work of Romans 9, verse 25 to 28, as well as work to reach the Jews and the full number of Gentiles as recorded in Romans 11, Verse 23, 24, and 25. Well, before Joseph Biden took office, we, as the entity, uh, wrote that the end will not come in the first term of the Biden-Harris administration. But what may happen during the next presidential term, whether the winner to the 224 elections be Joseph Biden, Donald Trump, or someone else, well, if certain steps happen in the next year or two, like the confirmation of the deal of Daniel 9:27. And first, if as the second of Elijah, as as the second school, sorry, not the second, but there is the teaching about the second Elijah, but there is a school 
of Second Elijah, as the school of Elijah taught that God inspired Elijah to state that the world, as we have known it, would last 6,000 years, to be followed by a thousand years sabbatical time, which Jewish tradition, Talmud tracted Sanhedrin 97a, and early Christian traditions, records like Irenaeus, a hero of Polycarp, adverses heresies, book 5, chapter 30, and verse 4, then we are getting close to the end of the time. And if consistent with scriptures in both the Old and the New Testament, we can apply the concept that a thousand year is a day to God, Psalm 90 verse 4 and Second Peter chapter 3 verse 8. And if, as generally understood in the Church of God, that Jesus was killed and resurrected no later than the spring of 31 AD on Passover, though some suspect 33 AD may be possible. And if we can presume that the last days of a 7,000 year prophetic week began after the middle day, day 4, then the last days prior to the sabbatical time, which some would refer to as the millennial kingdom of God, would last 2,000 years. And if when Peter referred to being in the last days in Acts chapter 2 verse 17 and 18, and since Hebrews 1 verse 1 through 20 teaches that God has in these last days spoken to us by his Son, then adding 2,000 years to a period of time leads to the end of the 6,000 years, no later than 2031-2033, since the Great Tribulation is expected to start three and a half years prior to that, according to Revelation 12:14 and Revelation 13:5, subtracting three and a half years from the spring of 2031 would be late in 2027. Understand that the United States of America is prophesied to be taken over near the rise of the beast and the start of the Great Tribulation, according to Daniel 11:39, Jeremiah 30, verse 7, and Matthew 24, verse 21 and 22. Therefore, since the end of the next full USA presidential term would end in January of 2029, the prophetic understanding is if 31 AD was the year of the resurrection, point to the end of the USA by 2028. This is also consistent with certain Roman Catholic prophetic writings as well, and by virtue of timing, whoever is in office in the period of 2025 to 2029, presidential term, and it could be more than one person, will take steps which will result in the end of the United States of America. The United States of America is prophesied in the Bible to be conquered and defeated. Please see Daniel chapter 11 verse 39. It looks like from certain Jewish, Biblical, Christian and Roman Catholic perspectives, and yes, others associated with those faiths have other opinions, that the end of the USA may well happen by 2028. We have put out a video, is the USA prophesied to be destroyed by 2028? It's on our YouTube, YouTube uh, Bible Prophecy channel, and you can see it right there. Now repentance could delay the disaster coming to the USA, as according to Daniel chapter 4 verse 27, but repentance national on the national level is not expected. Both Joseph Biden and Donald Trump have upset the Europeans. Now with, uh, of course, Donald Trump coming back and uh, he announcing uh, his candidacy, this will upset the Europeans. They will take steps to distance themselves from the USA and strengthen their own European military. Without national repentance, the end of America is coming very soon, no matter what party wins the USA this year or the next year, 2024, that is presidential election. Destruction is coming to the USA, as well as to its British descendant allies, UK, Australia, Canada, New Zealand, and it will be worse than most people will believe. So, dear friends, this is what the Bible speaks about the Anglo-Saxon world and the United States of America unless there be any national repentance that could possibly delay this, this is going to happen as we have just outlined in this program. So, uh, will Donald Trump make America great again? The answer is no. No, America is on decline. America is going to be completely dismantled and destroyed as a nation, as well as its, uh, as well as its Anglo-Saxon allies. Well, for more world analysis and uh, other other analysis of the trends in the world, you can visit our website www.biblenewsprophecy.net uh, Until next time, goodbye friends.